Hi, my name is Marcia Knight, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Theater and Dance at the University of Wyoming. I have been with the department for 31 years. It's kind of unbelievable that that kind of time has passed. Um, I'm currently involved in a creative endeavor called The Nutcracker. This is a production that we do every fourth year at the university, and I'm glad to be here and share a little bit of information about that. I was raised on the East Coast, up and down the East Coast, um, but I went to school at the University of Utah and really had fallen in love with the West. I was very much an Easterner and uh, came, have come really to love the West and my lifestyle here. An amazing thing I think about this program has been the fact that when I came, I was um, part of kind of the seminal group of people who really, really brought and developed a program forward, including my colleague Margaret Wilson um, and several faculty who are still here. Um, we have been a part of really developing a program over a long arc of time. Well, we started this in 1988. It was our first production. We did it on a small scale. We did it in the Fine Arts main stage. Um, I had grown up in a tradition, as many, many ballet dancers have, this was not unique to me, of Nutcracker kind of being a part of life and thought that in the academic preparation of our dancers that they should have this experience as part of their training because I'll tell you most of them are going to go out into the world and they're going to have to produce a nutcracker in their life and to have been a part of it um, as I was with Ballet West for three years um, was really an important part of my development both as a young dancer and as a more mature dancer. Dr. Griffith and I both agreed that to train our dancers as to train his musicians, that having the Nutcracker be a part of their experience at the University of Wyoming once every four years was indeed a good use of time and of our efforts. Um, so that's kind of the path that we have followed. I think this will be the seventh Nutcracker that we've done. It has changed tremendously over time. I mean, we have a very unique thing that I, I hold very dear to my heart. Um, our early Nutcrackers were a little bit more generic. They were, you know, we did a, a good job and it, it, it grew and developed and um, artistically and in terms of the demand on students, et cetera, over time. But about two, two productions ago, this is the third production where we've really been using this Western theme, another colleague who is really pivotal on this project is Lee Hodgson, our costume designer. Meticulous, patient, um, truly, again, a craftsman who has, we've been in locked step with this process all along the way. Kind of had this idea of maybe planting this locally and really putting Laramie as the home site. Other colleague that I work with tremendously, Ron Steegers, the scenic artist, he was on the faculty here for many, many years. Our careers absolutely paralleled each other. He's done um, design for professional ballet companies for years. He's a master painter. He's a master scenic painter. He stands and paints in the old-fashioned way. And he's just a craftsman beyond, beyond measure. He is retired from the university, but has been wonderful to come back and do, um, do these projects and, and move the ballet forward. And uh, so these are colleagues who have made this collaboration something very, very special to me. I don't feel like I'm in this alone at all in decision making. It involves colleagues and those kinds of projects together are the most value to me. And I think we have developed something that is, it's, it's um, very unique in productions. Um, our characters really are, are Western. Our setting indeed is the Ivinson Mansion. Um, we pull characters from Western themes and, and some of the creative, wonderful mice and such really have um, kind of, one is a saloon girl, one is our, our mouse king is basically crafted after Buffalo Bill, this kind of thing that we have had a great time with. An amazing thing about this production is that it reaches out in the community like no other. Um, it's a wonderful thing about the Nutcracker and we have about 45 children in it, approximately the same number of adults who are performers, but then we have to think about the entire orchestra um, under the direction of Dr. Michael Griffith. We have to think about all of the crew, and by the time we finish with this, we also have a small choral group that comes in for the snow scene. We have about 250 people that are involved um, on any given evening. The piece will play the 11th through the 
14th of December. We have a school show as well the morning of the 12th. We pack ANS with uh, kids from all over Laramie. Uh, we just love to invite the community to come. We have tremendous presence of the community at this production. Um, this one promises to be wonderful. I'm, I'm thrilled about the kids that we have. And though we've only been in rehearsal about three weeks, I think we are, we are set for a great show. It is really exciting to me. I'm still in these early, early rehearsals and um, getting to know these kids. But it's so wonderful because you have this group of children, some of them who I say really identify with themselves as being dancers, as being young dancers at this point. And then you'll have this group of boys who thought, I, I think I want to be part of this production. And perhaps some of the boys, some of the girls, they've never done anything like this before. And they're the ones I think that grow the most. They come in there, they don't know how to do these steps that they're being asked to do. But with time and repetition and patience and, and some love, they get there. And it's kind of, it's an amazing experience, I think, for these children to, ex to experience this level of performing arts experience um, and to carry that through in their lives. Who knows if they're gonna do this again? But I think it makes an impression on them that, that I think is, is very important. She's very, very teachable and very easy to learn from. She's nice and we can have lots of fun with her. Yeah, they'll have lived an experience like this instead of just watching it or watching it from afar. And I'll have children who come up to me at the end of this and say, this was the most wonderful thing I've ever done. And they, and they really mean that at that point in their lives, you know, and they'll go on and do many wonderful things. But it's, um, it's a, a great thing to be able to be part of. I'm so appreciative of my department and of the university. Holding on to this is, is an important thing because we get a lot of, uh, a lot of support. I think people look forward to it and say, well, it's a nutcracker year. Four years have already passed and onward ho. We do it, we do it once again but with all new people and some new ideas. But I do just want to invite everyone in Laramie and beyond to come see this year's production. The dates are the 11th through the 14th of December, and it promises to be wonderful. Very excited about it.